What's up guys, Josh Blonde here and welcome to my channel. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Starting your fitness journey as a beginner, you're gonna go through a lot of different obstacles, especially in the gym. Where do you start? Which equipment should you use? How often should you go? And on and on and on. And that's if you can make it to the gym in the first place. Because let's face it, whether you're 100 pounds or 300 pounds, the gym can be an intimidating place as a beginner. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact approach that you need to take step by step as a beginner to make it into the gym so this is one less obstacle that you need to face. Let's dive in. So if you happen to build up the courage to make it to the gym, you're gonna walk in and you're gonna see something that looks like a circus. You're gonna see the buff dudes over here at the free weights grunting and moaning. You're gonna see the shredded people over here on the treadmills. And you're gonna see the flexible people in the corner doing who knows what. And all of this can be intimidating if you're neither of these individuals, right? The only thing that's gonna cross your mind is that all of these people are looking at you and judging you, especially if you already have self-confidence issues. Many people believe that you need to be in shape or be lean before you go to the gym so you can fit in maybe you can relate but this is false the gym is a place to get into shape for everyone whether you're a beginner or advanced and I'm gonna show you how here's a few tips to keep in mind if you're thinking about joining the gym number one whether you've seen it yourself or maybe you've heard about it many people are gonna be so self-focused into their own looks taking selfies in the mirror looking at their arms when they're doing curls looking at their own butts while they're doing squats meaning nobody will likely even notice that you exist. Number two, you're not the only one that is self-conscious in the gym. Many people around you are in the same boat. You are your worst critic. We tend to blow things up in our head way more than they actually are. While you're sitting there asking yourself, are these people looking at me? Those people are asking themselves, is this person looking over here? It's a never ending loop of negative thoughts that aren't actually relevant. Number three, most people will congratulate you just for being there. Everyone knows how difficult it can be just to make it to the gym in the first place. If they see you putting in effort, then they'll be able to relate. Some might compare themselves to you and there's no way around that, it's just life, but most people will give you respect for your efforts, not judgments. And another thing, we've all got to start somewhere. We've all been a beginner at some point. Remember, being self-conscious about yourself isn't somebody else's doing or issue, it's yours. We like to think the worst of ourselves and we assume that other people are thinking the same thing. We're only human and most of us are too focused on our own struggles and our own results to worry about yours or anybody else's. But because of this, some people will never actually try and that choice is yours. All right, let's keep moving. A couple of things to make you feel more comfortable when you're actually in the gym. Number one, wear comfortable clothes. The last thing you wanna do is be uncomfortable and be dying to get out of there just so you can go home and change. So make sure you wear something that is comfortable and that actually fits. And for two, bring some headphones. Music is gonna create a sense of confidence in ourselves. Unless you're listening to some depressing love song or something like that, avoid that. But create yourself a playlist that is gonna build confidence like you wanna take on the world. And the best part about it, this music is going to likely blur out the people around you and keep you focused on the goal. Another obstacle the beginners are gonna face is not knowing their way around a gym. So a couple of tips for that. For one, a little trick, jump on a treadmill. Jump on one of the cardio machines. They're very easy to use. You could do it as a beginner. It doesn't take a lot of experience at all. Jump on a cardio machine. and This is gonna allow you to look around and glance at the gym. Learn your environment. You can be on the treadmill as long as you want. Just walk on the treadmill, very simple. Glance around at the gym. Wear the free weights, wear the machine weights, etc., etc. Learn your environment. Another way, if you're comfortable with it, go up to the front desk and ask an employee to show you around or at least point you in the direction of somebody who can like a tour or something like that. It's these employees' jobs to make you not only feel more comfortable, but also to give you the best experience, which includes showing you around. So talk to somebody at the front desk and they can give you a tour. All right, now that you're feeling more comfortable in the gym, how often should you train? Look at it this way. There have been studies that prove that even three times a week can be very effective if you put in the right effort and if you focus on the right progress. So if you're looking to know exactly how to maximize your results, maximize your gains, watch this video here after you're done with this video. The point is there are many approaches that you can take. The question that you need to be asking yourself is how often can you train? Don't listen to the person that says you have to train five, six, seven days a week for it to be effective. That is false. Maybe they need to train five or six or seven days a week because they're not 
not putting in the right effort when they're actually training, but that doesn't have to be you. It's best to look at your own lifestyle and choose which days and which times is gonna work for you. What is the most convenient that's gonna keep you consistent in the gym? Whether that's two days a week or seven days a week, if you're putting in the effort, if you're improving over time, you are guaranteed results. Two days a week is fine, or at least it's a great place to start. All right, now that we have gotten all of that down, what about a workout routine? Well, that's a little bit more complicated because everybody is different. We're all starting from different places. We have different fitness levels. We have different genetics. We have different goals. We have different ages and on and on and on. But if you want to ask me a few questions, you can ask it in the comment section down below, or you can go in the link in the description box down below to my Facebook page. Send me a DM and ask any questions that you have, and we'll go from there. But right now, I will give you a simple guideline. First, you're going to want to start with the warm up. I don't care if you're a beginner or if you're advanced, this needs to be added into your routine. It doesn't have to be long. 5, 10, 15 minutes is all you need. Find a place in the gym, loosen up the muscles, warm up the body, and do some light stretching. Next, as a beginner, I would start with some cardio. 20, 30, 45 minutes a day is all you need. Do this for a few weeks before you start any resistance exercises. And the reason is for one, it's gonna allow you to get a feel for the environment, get a feel for the gym, and for two, it's gonna build up your cardiovascular health. It's gonna build up some endurance so you can go through a more difficult workout later. Now, many people at this point are gonna wanna jump on the free weights. I completely get it. We wanna challenge ourselves. We wanna look good. We wanna feel good. But this is a marathon, and we are in it for the long term. So what I would recommend is doing some body weight workouts first. There's always classes that you could take at the gym that are going to focus on the fundamentals of these exercises before you start adding weight. These are body weight circuits. If you don't want to do it at the gym, I have a lot of body weight workouts on my channel. You're more than welcome to check it out. These are body weight workouts with no equipment needed that you could do in the comfort of your home, but do not shy away from body weight workouts. They're very, very effective. All right, let's move on. Your next step is the machine weights. Now, machine weights, this area is not meant for beginners. I've been in the gym for over 10 years. I still use machine weights almost every single day because they're very effective. It allows you to mix up your workouts and most importantly as a beginner it allows you to go through a full range of motion with little risk of injury. So this is a great place to start and it can be very effective if done properly. Now after you are comfortable with the machine weights, you've built up your strength, you worked on your form, you're going through the movement patterns, now it's time to move on to the free weights and I think dumbbells are a great place to start for a couple of reasons. For one, you can do a lot of different exercises with dumbbells. They also work on your stability, so this is a great place to start. And for two, you can adjust your weight a lot. You can start at a very light weight and work to a very heavy weight. I would obviously recommend starting super light at first because it's better to start light and work your way up than it is to add a ton of weight to an improper form. That is the easiest way to injure yourself. Now, once you are comfortable with the dumbbells, whether it took you two weeks or four weeks or eight weeks, however long it took you to learn some new exercises, build up some strength, work on your form, work on stabilizing your movements. Once you've done all of that, you can now move on to the compound lifts. These are the heavier lifts, like deadlifts and squats as an example. And again, I know that many people are gonna wanna just jump on the free weights, and I completely get it. They wanna challenge themselves. They think they can do it. They wanna learn as they go, and maybe they can. But remember, this is a lifestyle change. This is a journey that you're gonna be working on for a long time, hopefully, so there's no rush. Do not compare yourself to the next guy and push yourself beyond your fitness level. Levels. We are all starting from different places and that is okay. Take the approach that works for you. Start small if you have to and keep yourself from getting injured along the way. All right, guys, I hope this video brought some value to you. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate your support. Check out those ebooks that I have linked down below. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment section. I will get back to you and I will see you guys on the next video.